My first car was a. Uh, it was in my Christmas stocking when I was six years old, and uh, that's when dinkies were being imported back into Canada after the war. It's called an Iron Horse. It's a little. It's a little sort of single uh, vehicle truck a type truck with a little trailer on the back. It was actually. I've never. I have never seen the real thing. It was actually electric, and it was used around uh, railway stations and in warehouses and that sort of thing. And since then, um, the collection has grown. There's probably about 800 little ones down there. <laughs> it's a lot, yes. <laughs> My wife says it's a lot. I almost lost them because my mother, at one point, mothers have a way of cleaning out things. And at one point, and I guess I was 12 or so, she decided that, I mean, I, I'm growing out of this dinky toy thing. And on her own, she decided that maybe she should send some off to some cousins. I had some first cousins. And off they went. I wasn't consulted. I wasn't too happy about them, but they were about three or four years younger than I was. And about five years later, I went and got them all back. Because <laughs> they'd, they'd lost interest in them. <laughs> now, they, they have a certain amount of wear and tear, but they're the original ones. When I was six or seven, I would go into the local old Ford dealer and the Oldsmobile dealer and pull off the brochures off the rack, and I still have those. I take it home and read it, and heaven forbid, I also cut out certain pictures and stuck them on the wall. You know, things like um, uh, 63... 53 Oldsmobile Skylarks or, or um, Starfires and 55 Thunderbirds when Thunderbird came out. So some of my brochures I've had to up replace because there's great things missing from them. That's what I had up on the wall, our car pictures. I, my, my bedroom was just covered in car pictures. I have these two old ones, the 19, uh, 1940 Buick which I bought from the original owner in 67. We use it in the summer. It's a nice riding car. It's a lovely car on the highway, very smooth. Big straight eight. It gets about 14 miles to the gallon. Um, but I would only drive it usually a tank a year is what... I mean, this car does not get a lot of mileage. It now has 47... I think it's 47... Uh, 57,000 miles on it now. The other car is a 1939 Rolls-Royce. Uh, it had 85,000 miles on it, I think. Never winter-driven or anything. We drive it in the summer, too. I don't know. I just, I've just i always enjoyed automobiles. There's a certain nostalgia aspect to it. I mean, you, every time I go down the basement stairs and, and look at that uh, display of dinkies, I, you know, they... they are a reminder of bygone times, but also times that good times in terms of uh, growing up, and uh, they st I still have a fondness for them. I just enjoy it, that's all.